One of the issues also is that CEOs uh, who are paid by tax dollars of yeah. this country are getting exorbitant salaries. The people are asking this because the Prime Minister's salary has been scrutinized, your salary and other ministers' salaries has been scrutinized, your allowances have been scrutinized, mm. you have dropped it. What about these CEOs? There's some CEOs who are getting more than the Prime Minister of the country. There's some CEOs mm. getting between 340000 to half a million dollars a yeah. year. You, you are absolutely uh, right, Vijay. Um, the, uh, the point about CEO salaries, some of them, uh, you know, uh, probably, you know, don't deserve that. Um, and, and the breadth and scope of the work and the responsibilities that they have, uh, some are different. So, uh, first of all, just on the, on the salaries of the um, ministers and the prime minister. So what we have now is we have continued with the 20% reduction in the salary. People have forgotten that this salary and allowances was set up by the Fiji First government when the government, when they won in 2014, when they were still an interim government. Before the first sitting of parliament, they brought this decree and they set the salaries for the ministers, allowances and members of parliament before they came to parliament. Now, the allowances were exorbitant, unnecessary. On top of UN pay diem, there was a 250% uh, top up for uh, the Prime Minister. There was 200% top up for ministers. On top of the UN pay diem. On top of the UN pay diem. And not only that, on top of that UN and top up, there was an incidental allowance, daily incidental allowance. So we have taken that incidental allowance completely. We have reduced the uh, top-ups by, by a huge amount. Uh, and uh, what we will be doing um, in the uh, next session of Parliament is to bring uh, to appoint an independent emoluments committee. And that committee's job would be to go back and look at all the perks and benefits of uh, members of Parliament, Prime Minister, uh, Ministers, to ensure that it's commensurate with you know, what uh, is necessary uh, and what is appropriate. Then the government had already announced that we will set up the Higher Salaries Commission. You know, Vijay, you would remember that it was abolished by the previous government. So all these state, uh, you know, statutory bodies, uh, independent commissions, their salaries of the CEOs and allowances of people who sit on those commissions and boards were determined by the Higher Salaries Commission. So uh, very soon uh, that uh, would be brought back. Uh, in fact, uh, the government would be making an announcement perhaps soon uh, on the appointment of the Higher Salaries Commission and we will rationalize all this. Because people are asking that if you, these exorbitant salaries continue yeah. and they have been asked to tighten their belt and exactly. pay more taxes, what will government do? Because at the end of the day, yeah. they are paying their taxes. They are, they are wanting that it's a smooth and efficient yeah. running of... No, they, they are absolutely right. People are absolutely right to be concerned and outraged by you know, uh, these exorbitant you know, allowances and salaries. And we as a government, you know, we recognize that. And, and so we have made that decision already, as I announced in my budget speech. On the and, and Vijay, I know, I know how much ministers actually get when they travel. Uh, you know, uh, it was for eight years, the previous government ministers collected those allowances. And I know how much I can, uh, you know, uh, Give one uh, one. Tip. So 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 if you if you if you're going to uh, say uh, a place like Korea, you know, for uh, five or six or seven days, you are likely to collect, you know, between ten to thirteen or fourteen thousand uh, uh, in just allowances. Um, you know, depending on you know w w which route you've taken, how many stops you have made and uh, how much time. So these are all part of it. So it, it, it's quite exorbitant. And see the UN rate uh, and uh, obviously you know, it includes uh, for ministers, you know, business class, airfares and all that. So uh, the cost can be quite significant. The and previous Prime Minister is getting $3,000 yeah, a day. Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, and, and you know, if you staying for two weeks, you know, sometimes the meetings are long depending on, you know, the routes you take. Uh, you know, it, it, it is, this is something that we can avoid. I mean, okay, you know, the Prime Minister needs uh, to travel, you know, first class. He needs a good hotel. Uh, you need the uh, resources. The Prime Minister, you know, meets people. Ministers do that. But all that should be within reasonable uh, uh, levels and, and within a reasonable decent limit. That, uh, and we felt that it was not decent. It was not within the limits and that's why the government has uh, taken the decision to reduce the allowances.